Hi guys, Mike Greer here. And today I'm going to show you an amazing little product called Pocket. What Pocket allows you to do is capture any web page, send it to your tablet or your smartphone, where you can read it later offline. And one of the most amazing things about Pocket is that it will read that same web page to you if you don't want to look at the page or if, let's say, you're riding on a bus and you get bouncing around a little bit and you'd rather just listen. In other words, Pocket is going to allow you to study any web content you capture anywhere at your leisure. So it's an incredible power tool for self-directed learners or researchers. So let's check it out. Now you're looking at the getpocket.com homepage. Notice that's not pocket.com, it's getpocket.com. So that's where you go to sign up and set up your account. Now I'm assuming you can go through that stuff, so I'm not going to I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do next is simply demonstrate to you how I would capture a couple of pages. And then we're going to look at those pages on my tablet and show you how wonderful it is to uh, work with Pocket. So, Okay, now this is my Pocket account. I'm looking at it through my Chrome browser, running Windows. I've navigated to my Pocket account online, and this is what you see. This is my collection of articles, and I can scroll down through them and uh, see some stuff I've snagged for reading later. Now I can read them here, but really that's not the point, so I'm not, I'm not going to bother with that. The other way I can display them is as a list, so it's a little bit more compact that way. So how did these things get there? Well, clear up in the extreme right corner of the screen, you see this little thing that looks like a has a chevron shape. It's actually the pocket symbol that you see here beside pocket. This is a browser extension, and you're going to need to add that browser extension to whatever browser you're working with to get the most out of Pocket. Let me show you quickly which browsers have Pocket extensions available for them. Okay, so Pocket is available for pretty much any of the major browsers that are out there. So what you need to do is simply type in a Google search box, type in Pocket colon and then Safari or Pocket colon Firefox or whatever. And that's what I did to come up with these pages. Uh, notice this is added to Chrome, it says here, because of course that extension has already been added to my browser up there in the right hand corner. Uh, here's the Pocket for Internet Explorer page. And they acknowledge that Pocket was formerly called Read, Read It Later. But uh, this is where you go to get that. Pocket for Safari, if you're using a Mac or you're using the Safari browser. Pocket for Firefox. They call it formally read it later too. So you could download there. And finally, if you're using Opera, there's a Opera version of the Pocket extension as well. So get the appropriate extension and you're going to be all set to capture pages. Okay, so we've got our web browser extension installed. Notice I'm up in the right hand corner there, hovering over it, it says save to Pocket. So I'm all set to go out on the web and add to this list, this is my Pocket homepage, my Pocket online account. I'm going to add some articles to that, so a couple of them. So let's go over here. I've already opened one from the Harvard Business Review called Special Forces Innovation, etc. This is quite an extended article. As you see, you, it's very long, thoughtful, as usual, for the Harvard Business Review. Great place to find business-related articles. And here's it's, it's actually seven pages, so I'm going to tell Pocket to save it. We're going to see if Pocket is able to capture all those pages as one save. So we click here, up, hovering on Save to Pocket, and click Save to Pocket. Now notice, it gives me the opportunity to here to add tags or view my list directly from this save. So I'm not going to add any tags at this time, but I could if I wanted to tag it, let's say, uh, uh, business-related or management-related articles. That's, that could be a tag. And I might want to apply that right now while I'm saving it. Okay, so another article I've saved up here is one from Wikipedia on Vincent van Gogh. So let's say I'm studying art and I really want to see this long extended article. I want to capture it, take some time to read it, maybe when I'm on the bus or on the train. And now I'm going to scroll through here to show you what the article looks like online. It's loaded with all kinds of pictures. And in fact, um, just a ton of pictures. So how is Pocket going to handle all that, I wonder? Uh, so let's just, I'm going to whip right back up there real fast. I'm going to go up to my 
save to pocket thing and click save to pocket and it says page saved gives me the opportunity to add tags so I might want to tag it uh, art glass um, so I don't do that right now though now I'm going back over to my pocket account and notice there are the two articles that I just saved and I'm particularly curious about that Special Forces Innovation article because that was, as you saw, divided into seven pages. So let's open it up here and see what Pocket got. And notice how you can scroll, 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 scroll way down through there. I've got my typeset pretty large. So let me drop that down a notch and uh, won't be quite so far to scroll. So we'll go clear to the end here and I'm going to look shape the future or the last phrase there i'm going to go back over to this article go down to its bottom tab and go to the go to the end of the article tab and see what i can find there and this is indeed the last page of the article and i get down to the bottom and it says here that we can indeed shape the future so pocket grabbed all of those pages and I didn't have to jump through them. So Pocket did a great job of that. Now I'm going to click my back arrow and see how the Vincent Van Gogh article looks. And it's painting. And up it comes. Lots of pictures captured. And it's just loaded. Those All those pictures are in there. And uh, all the links and stuff, if I happen to be online when I'm reading it, I can jump all over the place and see those. But you see, it's a huge article. If you look over here on the side, look how far down I got to scroll. I'm going to just zip through this real fast. Look at all that stuff going by. And Pocket snagged all that for us to use later offline. So at this point, what I want to do is go over to my tablet and see how all this looks on the tablet. And better yet, see if I can use it offline. So stay tuned. What you're looking at is the screen of my Asus Transformer, which is an Android tablet. It's very difficult to video tablet screens, so I've had to turn it down the whole way, and it still is, is tough for the camera to focus. So it's not a perfect picture, but it's going to be an opportunity for you to see how this all works. So first thing we're going to need to do is go to the Play Store. So I click on the Play Store, and I've already navigated to Pocket. And this is what you find in the Google Play Store. You go to iTunes and, and get the same app there, however you get them for iPads. So we've downloaded it, we've installed it, and now we're going to go back to the home page. And what I'm going to do is activate Pocket. We click on that app, and this is now opening my account. And notice what it's doing here. We're refreshing automatically, adding those two articles that we had just put in place online. So let's open up the Vincent Van Gogh article and see how that looks. Now I've got my screen set. I do a lot of night reading, so I've got my screen set to very low light. So if it looks dim, that's why. But notice that if you're going to look at this on a phone, you see that the pictures are arranged, broken up in such a way that they appear linearly, just in a straight line. And it's very readable. I've got a sepia tone background set up. I'm afraid if I change it to anything brighter, it would really make you crazy. So um, I can go up here in my choices and choose to add tags. So I'm going to edit the tags a minute and say, OK, I'm going to make this a reference tool. And it did that. I can also add new tags for this particular article. Notice I can also change fonts. I can make the font larger. See them getting bigger there? I can change the typeface if I don't like this typeface. Cycling through some different typefaces. And there's a lot of different controls, your typical reader controls. So I'm going to close this article here. Now I'm going to open that Special Forces Innovation article. And I'm going to do something really cool with that. Listen to this. Text to speech. Special Forces Innovation. RDRPR attacks problems. November 1st, 2013. Over the past 50 years, the Pentagon's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA has produced an unparalleled number of breakthroughs. Arguably, it has the longest standing, most consistent track record of radical invention in history. It's innovative.
You notice it's reading to me using an English accent from the, a British uh, British English United Kingdom. I can also choose any other language here. Not to, it's not going to translate, but it's going to use that particular language. So if I switch to English, United States English, and continue, let's see. Over the past 50 years, the Pentagon's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, has produced an unparalleled number of breakthroughs. Arguably, it has the longest standing. For some reason, the, the lady's voice is not, it doesn't pronounce things quite as well and doesn't give the same emphasis. Uh, sometimes it puts the wrong emphasis on the right syllables. So anyway, I'm going to switch back to the United Kingdom, and that's the version I want to hear in here. Over the past 50 years, the Pentagon's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, has produced an unparalleled number of breakthroughs. Arguably, I can make it go faster. Check it out. Over the past 50 years, the Pentagon's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, has produced an unparalleled or I can slow it way down because let's say... Over the past 50 years, the Pentagon's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, has produced an unparalleled number of breaks. So as you see, there's a bunch of different languages that you, if, the, if the, the written text in the first place is written in that particular language, then uh, you can select the language and the reader that you want. So this... This thing has been great. For, I get kind of car sick when I'm bouncing around on a bus, especially given the potholes. And if I'm able to listen, I get just as much out of it as though I were reading the article. So I can really take advantage of those trips. So there we have it. That's my pocket account. It's ready to go. I'm ready to study anywhere with my tablet. All these are available offline. They've been downloaded. You make sure you refresh before you leave on your trip, and you're going to be all set to go. So there it is, the Pocket Go Anywhere With You app that allows you to take the web right along in your pocket. Okay, so summarizing here, go to getpocket.com, get your pocket account set up, then find the appropriate extension for your browser. So you can do that by typing in a search box, pocket colon name of the browser, and you'll find one for Chrome. There's one for Internet Explorer, one for Safari, Firefox, and Opera. So Pocket is one of the most amazing power tools that you'll find for the self-directed learner. Take the web with you. Listen to the web even if it initially was born as a written page. So it's an incredible tool for the self-directed learner and one of the examples of some of the best free training tools out there. Enjoy!